Ever heard of a zombie apocalypse? Well, what if I told you there's a tiny microscopic version happening inside your body right now? I'm not talking about science fiction. I'm talking about zombie cells. Okay, so they're not actually zombies craving brains. Scientists call them senescent cells. Normally, our cells have a life cycle. They divide, they do their job, and when they get old or damaged, they're supposed to commit a form of cellular suicide, a process called apoptosis. It's like a built-in self-destruct button that keeps our bodies healthy and tidy. But some cells, they glitch. Instead of dying peacefully, they enter this weird zombie-like state. They stop dividing, but they refuse to die. They just hang around. And like any bad house guest, they start causing problems. Imagine one of these senescent cells just sitting in your tissues. It's not just freeloading, it's actively spewing out a cocktail of inflammatory chemicals. Think of it like a grumpy old man on his lawn yelling at all the healthy young cells just trying to live their lives. This constant chemical yelling creates a toxic environment. It stresses out the neighboring cells, causing chronic inflammation and even pushing them towards becoming zombies themselves. It's a chain reaction. So why is this a big deal? Scientists have linked the accumulation of these zombie cells to a whole host of age-related problems. We're talking about things like arthritis, heart disease, cataracts, Alzheimer's, and even certain types of cancer. It's like these cells are the secret puppet masters behind the curtain of aging, pulling the strings on our decline. As we get older, our immune system, which is supposed to be the cleanup crew for these zombies, gets less efficient. So more and more of them build up, accelerating the aging process. But here's where it gets really exciting. What if we could get rid of these zombie cells? What if we could specifically target and eliminate them? This isn't just a hypothetical question. Researchers are developing a new class of drugs called senolytics. Think of them as zombie slayers for your cells. In animal studies, the results have been incredible. When scientists gave senolytic drugs to old mice, they saw amazing things happen. The mice grew healthier fur, their heart and kidney function improved, they became more active, and they even lived longer, healthier lives. It was like a rejuvenation treatment at the cellular level. Human trials are already underway, and while it's still early days, the potential is mind-blowing. We're not talking about a magical pill for immortality. We're talking about extending our health span, the number of years we live in good health, free from chronic disease. Imagine reaching 80 or 90 with the energy and vitality you had decades earlier. This research is fundamentally changing how we view aging. It's shifting the focus from treating individual age-related diseases to tackling one of the root causes, these stubborn cells that refuse to die. The zombie apocalypse inside of us might be real, but for the first time, science is giving us the weapons to fight back.